if you have any questions for Prasid, please feel free to send them. So Prasid, I was asking, having picked up five wickets in six matches this season, how will you summarize your own performance? Uh, it's been it's been a bag of mixed emotions for me also, comparing about speaking about the way that I have gone about the six games that we play. But yeah, I think as a unit we've been learning, we've been understanding each other. Obviously, all all teams are new right now, so it is important for us as a bowling unit or a batting unit to understand <laughs> each other's games and and uh, go about things. So now that. We have played we have played five to six games together. It's it's getting better, and yeah, we are learning learning as every game goes by. We are seeing a, a lot of high scoring matches in the IPL this season. What have you made of the conditions for fast bowlers? Yeah, I think it was expected playing in Mumbai and and having played here for quite some time now. We know Mumbai it, the the pitches are such that you know there are going to be high scoring mm -hmm. games, and for fast bowlers it's it's still been very simple and clear that. <laughs> As long as you're executing your balls and bowling okay. to the right fields, I think I think you will still be going going at a better rate. Rather rather than not executing, not bowling to your fields, you will obviously be on the higher higher side of the economy. So it's still been the same game plan for us. Uh, speaking of the conditions, how much of a difference is there in the conditions and in your mentality when you're bowling first or you're bowling in the second innings? Uh, we bowled first only once, but then even otherwise we have to speak about it. It's st it's still the same. Maybe there's there's dew that is going to affect uh, the bowlers that are bowling second on games like Vankare. The couple of games that we played, there was dew there. But otherwise, I would really want to think of it like like anything anything else because obviously there is going to be dew. Obviously, it's so we played for so many years and we played with dew, so so it shouldn't be a reason or a complaint as such. But then. The approach is still going to be the same. Try and try and bowl. Start off in a in a on the front foot with, with either either getting a few wickets or, or keeping them to a low score, and then go about reacting to situations. Taking a fan question, Adil Khan of Instagram has uh, asked, uh, "Who is that inspirational bowler for Prasid Krishna?" Uh, there have been quite a few. I think younger days I have I've grown up watching a lot of Bradley and and uh, now. There's Bumra, there's Shami, there's there's so many bowlers in India as well who have been doing consistently well over over a long period of time. So I think blessed to have such bowlers in the Indian team. Uh, speaking of inspiration, we also have Lasit Malinga in the camp. We see during the match also and otherwise also you both interact a lot. So how and what have been the conversations like? Yeah, obviously. The fact that he was appointed coach excited me a lot, and, and now that I'm here, we are we are together. Yeah, I keep I keep asking him questions about what would he be doing or what do you think is the right thing to be doing, and obviously learning of everything that he's grown up, the kind of preparations that he would do, and the mindset and all of that. So, obviously, from a bowler who's who's achieved so much, who's been a legend of the game, it, it it's always good to you know have that conversation, have that extra extra piece of his mind, and use it to your advantage. Uh, how has it been to share the new ball with Trent Bolt and what are you both learning from each other? Yeah, absolutely. I think Bolty has been one of the best uh, new ball bowlers over, over a period, long period of time. So that is something that I wanted to inculcate as well. Now that now that we're working together, I think from day one, I think the first day I met, we started talking about how we're going to go about things. And, and it's been really nice. I think he's a very nice guy who's, who's always willing to help. And you've seen as we've been talking a lot, even during games. So I think coming back to the same point of having to understand each other as a bowling unit and, and that's working pretty well now that we know each other's strengths. Uh, Harshit, an Instagram fan, has sent a question for you. How do you handle the pressure while bowling in the death over, especially while defending? Uh, I think it, it comes down to the kind of preparation that, that you do. Uh, confidence or self-belief is, is all about all the homework, the preparation that, that goes through behind the behind scenes. So when you get in the match, it's all about feeling good, looking at it as, as a one ball a one ball game because we all know T20, it's, it's about that one particular ball. If you nail it, you win. If you don't, the other team wins. So it's, it's about simplifying things, keeping it, keeping it clear and, and yeah, having clarity at the top of the mark. On the upcoming match, Delhi Capitals. First of all, did you see the match last night? Yes, I did. Yeah, it was it was a good game. Okay, so obviously they have a very strong lineup, and they come into the match on the back of a big win. How do you see the encounter, and what are you expecting from it? Yeah, uh, if I have to speak about the our preparations, I would say yes. We've we've also been we've also had a good game. We we are coming out on a high. We've had a preparations well done, and and Bankri, we've played two games already, so I think we quite have an idea about what the pitch is going to be like and yeah it's it's just another game that we're looking at 
nothing different. It's it's still we are still looking to go out there, give our best, play good cricket, and and whatever happens happens after that. A lot of fans have also asked this, and this was one of the questions we also had. So, do we see Prasad taking David Warner's wicket tomorrow? I would love to. I would definitely love to take a, take his wicket. But then, it it I mean, only if Bolte lets me do it until the second over. I think if he gets him in the first over, it's going to be better than that. So yeah, looking forward to the challenge. Perfect. Thank you, Prasad, for your time. Good luck to you.